Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to explain you how do I draw original characters step by step. This is a tutorial for beginners, so I'm not going to draw something difficult. I will still draw a dynamic pose, but uh, in a simple way to let you understand what to do uh, to start to draw your original characters. Let's go! We have to think of our drawing as if it were a mannequin to dress. This mannequin will help us to understand the clothing we want to give to our character and uh, the hair and uh, yeah, also uh, the movement of the body of this character because we have to play with our fantasy, we have to imagine that this character is alive. We close our eyes and we imagine the pose and the hair and the colors in our mind and we try to reproduce it in our drawing. The best way to draw a pose is to learn the construction of the human anatomy. To practice this you can draw some model in photography or friends or relatives willing to stay in a pose for at least one hour in front of you. Most important to understand is the proportions, normally the whole total body length is 8 times the head. Drawing a pose in motion helps to give dynamism to our sketch and at the same time it makes it more interactive. Remember to always use a very light hand during this process otherwise erasing will become difficult. In this way, you can always have the chance to change what are you planning in case you are not satisfied yet. The line of action of our character is usually the dorsal spine, but the main line of the legs and the perspective we give to the character also play a very important role. If you are a beginner, don't worry if your first drawings are not perfect. Remember that perfection doesn't exist. Slowly, you will reach a level that will make you happier. Giving 30 minutes for day are enough to improve your skills. When we draw a female character, we must try to give harmony to the shapes and uh, to make them more sinuous. We can exaggerate or we can even maintain a certain elegance. This depends on what kind of style we want to pursue on, on what kind of woman we want to draw. Here I'm drawing a human health, so I play on delicacy and elegance. Anyway, the best way to draw a dynamic pose, even more in motion than what I'm drawing right now, is to draw the move before the move. <laughs> we have somehow to predict uh, what's the motion uh, before the action. For example, here I'm simulating the action before uh, the elf starts to walk, so it's something that's just starting, that's what I meant. So if we are drawing a warrior who is fighting, then we could draw the action before the, the hit itself. Now that the base of the mannequin is ready, let's draw three faces, a front view, a side view and a view from behind, so we are able to design in detail the physiognomy of our character, the hair, the makeup, the accessories and so on. I have already created a tutorial on how to draw a face uh, by drawing Heron from Attack on Titan, but here you have the complete demonstration from multiple points of view, so I hope this visual of creating an original character is uh, good to understand uh, what I'm doing.
Anyways, I will leave the RM drawing in my description so you can uh, watch uh, the full explanation on uh, how to draw a face and uh, I did the same in the Mikasa drawing still from Attack on Titan. If you're interested in watching many tutorials, uh, just uh, take a look on my playlist and you will find the tutorial one where I drop all of my tutorials. Including how to use markers, how to use pencil colors, how to blend, how to do this, how to do that. <laughs> In any case, these drawings we make before drawing a real masterpiece uh, are not something definitive, therefore don't conceive to be finished works. We have to keep in our mind that those are projects, real projects that help us to understand our taste, our limits and what we can evolve in to make uh, our art satisfy us and uh, a little more and uh, this helps us a lot to exercise our trait and to stimulate our freedom of thought and imagination. Many people ask me how to improve, how to improve. Well, there is just one answer, practice. Practice and more practice. <laughs> Thinking and rethinking will not help you in the long run. You have to get involved and create during the process itself. This is what makes everything more fun and exciting. Let's remember that creating something perfectly as we imagine is a mission impossible. So be free to express yourself and be free to create and be free to be spontaneous. Another suggestion I can give to you to create poses that help you improve at times is to block a scene from a movie or an anime or a cartoon and try to reproduce it quickly even if it's just scribbling. Uh, try to be fast 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 super fast and you will see with your own eyes that uh, you will sketch faster the next time. So this will improve your speed, your hand speed. Most important thing while doing this process is just one. Keep it simple. Remember that this design don't have to be perfect. It's all about finding movement and fluidity. Now I will draw the side view and while you will watch at what I'm doing, I will tell you something really really important. Many times people are confused because they say they can find their own style. I'll tell you one secret. It's very simple. Your style is simply and nothing less than the world in which you draw naturally. Yes, it's right to look at other artists because many times we take inspiration from some shades, some colors, some poses, but you don't have to lose your naturality. So yes, look at some reference and try to understand what fascinates you about it and try to reproduce it, but stay yourself, don't lose the magic you have inside, because uh, what you are is precisely what distinguish you from others and what characterizes you from others. Your style is simply you. While making a sketch, you don't necessarily have to use a pencil. You are totally free to use colored crayons, brushes. Use what you enjoy more and what you really like more. You can also use different colors in the same drawing. For example, you can draw the mine lines red and uh, the details in another color. Remember the keyword freedom. Now, as you can see, I'm starting to design the clothes and I had in mind something flattering and light with hints of leaves and flowers so let's see what my imagination will let me create this time. <laughs> 
on my mannequin I keep it very simple. Generally the part where I pay more attention is that of the face and accessories. In this character I will still keep some simple lines. I will play a little more um, in the faces drawings and uh, I will uh, work on the hairs and uh, on the accessories. Anyways. As I said before, we must not think too much about what we draw, but an important thing on which we must focus is the story of the character and in what era he lives. This will help us to give a direction to the choices we make while drawing. Imagining a story is what will make us play uh, about our design more than everything. These little facial representations help us to better distribute details about the character. This is where the character really comes to life because we are giving him a, an identity, a personality. So yeah, that's a very important step. As you can see, every time I create a detail in one of my faces, I immediately go to reproduce it in the other from different positions, so as not to forget it later. So yeah, I basically go left, right, left, right, left, right all the time, but that's because uh, my memory is what it is. <laughs> But yeah, you should adopt the same method because uh, it can happen that we forget something sometimes. However, in the description you can find all the art supplies I use to draw and color and some useful links that can help you to improve your skills in drawings. And don't forget to like and subscribe to motivate me more. At the end of this tutorial I will also leave you two useful videos on markers and color pencil that I prefer. Thank you very much for watching my video and see you soon with my next drawing. Ciao!